The USS Orlick will start welcoming guests next week. We'll see if Tropical Depression 9 will have any impact on that, by the way, so we'll certainly keep you posted. But this is a look at the Orlick through our Sky 4 drone. It's docked right there along Jacksonville's North Bank. Today there was a news conference to announce the next steps for the public. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar is joining us now live. Aaron? The public will be able to step foot onto the USS Orlick starting Wednesday of next week. When you get on board, you have a couple of different options. One, you can take a guided tour by a volunteer or a worker here, or you can give yourself a tour. You can do that by using this pamphlet that you would be given when you first get on board. And inside, it has a breakdown uh, in a blueprint of the outline of the ship as well. You can also use a QR code eventually to scan with your phone and that will give you a breakdown of some of the different parts of the ship that you might want to spend a little bit more time in to get educated and learn more about it once you get on board. But we want to give you a little bit of a sneak peek of some of the things you'd be able to see. So you'd be able to, of course, spend some time on the deck and on the sides and different levels of the ship as well. Then you'd be able to come into different parts inside. For example, right over here is what is the sick bay. This is an out look and a glimpse of what it was like for those if you got sick on the ship or you got hurt this is where you would come to get some of that uh, immediate help and then over down the hall i know these are tight quarters uh, you'd be able to see an oil lab so this is also just different areas of where some of the sailors and those who served on the ship would work and as we show you another look down some of the tight quarters of the hallway here inside the ship you will be able to see different parts of this starting on Wednesday and it will be open through Sundays. The USS Orlick is the most decorated post-World War II ship fighting in the Vietnam, Korean, and Cold War periods. Its service stretched nearly 80 years. People can get this history and get an idea of what life was like on the ship. But earlier this morning, we spoke with a man named Bob Orlick. The ship is named after his uncle. He says he wants people to value the service of those who fought for our country when they step on board. I want them to go aboard and think of them and about what they did for, our, for this nation during those times because uh, she, she's just a, an example of what America was and should again try to be. Again, the public can start coming here for tours of the USS Orlick starting Wednesday of next week. We have a full breakdown of the hours that will be open as well. It is free. However, do donations will be accepted when you stop by. Reporting live, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.